Hello everybody, it's about one in the morning here in California. I had to do this video. I came home. Let me warn you, I'm pretty tired right now, but I wanted to make this video while it's fresh on my mind. I was watching this, well, let me rephrase that. I wasn't watching. I was listening to a YouTube video through the Bluetooth on the way home, uh, Michael Hogard, pastor, and he thinks he's got this Mandela thing all figured out, you know, and he's telling people that it's just lies. It's coming from people like myself who have made this up and who are like, ha, 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 in the back, you know, as people are believing this and we're just having a grand old time just creating lies. That's all this is. The Mandela Effect is a big lie. And, you know, he's having people send in emails into his radio show there. And they're saying, well, so-and-so said that the Bible changed. And someone went back in time. And they changed the Bible. God told me that his word could never be changed. So he's going through this big, long thing. He's got his 1611 King James Version Bible out. He's like, see... This never changed. It always was the wolf and the lamb. And he said, this has been this way forever. So don't believe the lies. These people have nothing better to do but to try and scare you. I mean, he has no idea what he's talking about. This goes, the rabbit hole goes so much deeper than the Bible. I mean, it, it's the world map. It's words in the English language. It's, you know, all these different logos on cars. It's restaurants. It's... I got a new one for you. It's one of my favorite chain restaurants that I've been going to for like 20, 25 years. It's changed. And so I'll probably do that video tomorrow. But, you know, don't get confused, everyone. If you're new to this Mandela Effect, please don't get confused by people telling you things have changed. I kind of made that mistake as I've been on this journey for a couple months here with, you know, with the Effect. Nothing's changed. Everything is exactly the way it's always been. So don't get confused thinking that someone ran around and put an E in front of the Y on J.C. Penney all over the country. No, no one changed anything. It's always been J.C. Penney. So no one went and changed anything. So don't be confused, confused by that. Nothing's changed. So Mr. Hogard here thinks that he's debunked the Mandela Effect. Because he's showing his 1611 Bible. It's everything's always been the way it is. All right, let me let me just look at a couple things here. Oh, by the way, Mr. Hogart, if you happen to, happen to watch this, this is Moneybag 73 or Shine the Light 73 coming to you from my 300 square foot basement inside of my 3,500 square foot house. Oh, my mommy's house. No, I don't live in my mommy's basement, Mr. Hogard. I've been on YouTube for six years, and I haven't been here spewing lies, okay? You don't understand what the Mandela Effect is. You need to just slow it down. <laughs> slow it down. Do a little more research because you don't understand what you're talking about. Nothing's changed, okay? Nothing's changed. However, if we look at a few different things here, Let's start with the Lord's Prayer. Let's just look at some common sense things, okay? I'm going to read you the Lord's Prayer. Now, I know the Lord's Prayer. I went to catechism. I was raised Catholic. I had my mom recite the Lord's Prayer recently, okay? She said it the way I know it and the way a lot of other people know it. They grew up here in California, going to Catholic church, the way that I know I could go ask Hundreds of people, they would say it the way. Why did we learn it this way if this is not the way it is in the King James Version? Where's the books that we were learning it from? I don't know. You know, I'm not trying to say that anyone went back in time and changed anything. I, that thought went through my mind as I was trying to figure all this out, of course. I've known that there's been a consciousness shift coming in humanity for years. I've been making videos on it. I didn't really understand it. I just knew it was coming. I've been on this awakening for a long time, and I've been coming across things. Like, you know, 
the Bible is an incredible book. And I, I understand God said his word couldn't be changed. And it hasn't in this reality. It's always been what it is. But you can't just say you have all these people who have other memories of things. Well, they're all just misremembering and they're all misremembering the same things. And we can look at the world map and I could point out 20 things that I don't remember. And then we could get hundreds of people like they've commented. I've had three, four thousand comments on my my videos the past month, month and a half. I can't tell you how many people said I remember all the exact same things differently that you do. How could that even be possible? Okay, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. I learned on earth. That's how it, I learned it. That's what I always said. That's what my mom said. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's what we learned. Well, it's in earth. It always has been in earth in the King James Version. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. I never heard that before in my life. I learned forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. That's what I learned. Where did it come from? Help me out here, Pastor Hogard. Where did it come from? And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. You're saying that I'm working for the devil, basically. I'm just telling people what I remember. And there's a lot of people saying they remember the same thing. Like my great-grandparents over here who came from Italy. Okay? I looked at Italy on the map many times where my family comes from. Now it's like a high, high stiletto heel on the country, and it's at the angle of Italy has tweaked way over here. It used to be more like this. And Sicily is almost touching it. I mean, you could practically throw a rock across. It was a lot further away. This is what I remember. I understand that the way it is now is the way it's always been. Okay, People, please don't confuse what's going on here with the Mandela effect. This is extremely bizarre and the ancients knew that this was coming that's what blows me away so much they knew that this time was coming there's some ancient indian prophecies where they say you know the river's going to be swift and there's going to be those who are going to want to hold on to the shore but you just need have to let go and just go with it and look around see who's with you and just you know celebrate this is not a, a bad thing. And people, like, this is not the first pastor I've seen jump on this now. Another one jumped on and said, you know, I prayed on this and the Lord told me these were lies. And so you're either going to believe the word of God or you're going to believe these guys in their basement with chips all over them and blah, blah, blah. You, you... <laughs> Okay. Let's look at a few other things here. The word stuff appears 16 times in the King James Bible. Whereas thou hast searched all my stuff. What hast thou found of all thy household stuff? Genesis 45, 20. Also regard not your stuff. Exodus 22, 7. If a man shall deliver unto his neighbor money or stuff to keep. I understand that this has always been in here. Okay. Just sounds weird to me. Using the word stuff, Exodus 36, 7. For the stuff they had was sufficient. Okay, I understand. All right, I could have misremembered. I read the Bible when I was 33 years old. I read it from page 1 to page 1,000, whatever. I read, it took me 13 months. I read it straight through. That doesn't mean anything, really. You can read it 50, 100 times and learn, you know, learn different stuff every time. This is a not a literal book. Jesus said he speaks only in parables. The book is written metaphorically. From all the things that I've learned in the past years, I would say that it's really an astrological book. But, you know, and, and Jesus' teachings aren't what a lot of people that I've known are telling me what, you know, what his teachings are. 
mean, he seems more like a yogi master in, in, in the book now that I've, I've, my consciousness has expanded and I've opened up my mind. I mean, he says that where's the kingdom of God? It's not a place that you're going to see. You can't see it. He says that it's it's within you. The kingdom is in within you, okay? The temple, okay? Here's the temples. Yeah, it's, it's in the temple, okay? It's in the temple. I mean, this is all metaphoric. It's a metaphoric book. These people that are saying that it's all literal and everything, that comes from the old brainwashing. And that reminds me of something. I mean, this whole system's coming down. This whole money system, this whole religious, uh, you know, the religious system, everything seems to be coming down and there seems to be like just a, a cry to like keep it together. But the apocalypse is happening. The apocalypse, which means the unveiling. The unveiling is happening. We're going to find out who we are. You're going to find out who you are. Now that's new agey. Now that reminds me of what he was saying about Fiona Broom, who termed the Mandela effect, which I don't like the name of it. I wish it was the effect or the Bernstein effect or something. But he's saying that, hmm, Fiona Broom. Hmm, broom, huh? like she's a witch, huh? and she coined it at Dragon Con. Dragon. I mean, it, it's going on and on. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who she is. She's a metaphysical or a New Agey, whatever. New Age. We're in. We're in a New Age. Okay. Jesus said he'd be with us until the end of the age. Eon. Eon isn't world. He'd be with us to the end of the world. That's a mistranslation. And Mister. Mr. Uh, Hogard here says there are no mistranslations. Everything is perfectly translated. Okay? Elohim, the Elohim, Elohim, to me, is the gods. It's a plural word in Hebrew. Well, it says God. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, we could go on and on. Anyhow, a couple other things I wanted to point out here. Once again, this is what it's always said. I tell you. In that night, there shall be two men in one bed. The one shall be taken, the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken and the other left. Okay, this is from Luke 17, verse 34 and 35. I don't know, could have been there. Sounds kind of odd, but could have been there. I don't know, there's just people are pointing out these things that are odd to them. Judge not. Anybody know that? Matthew 7, 1, 7, 1. Judge not, lest ye be judged. That's what I've always heard. Well, I don't know where it came from because it's not in the King James Version. It's not in my, my 1940 that's all fallen apart here. It's not in my 1940 King James Version. It was my grandfather's. No, not in. you know what that says in there? It says, judge not that ye be not judged. That's what it's always said. It's 400 years. It's always said that. Why did I learn something different? See, that's what we're saying here. I'm not saying that somebody went back in time and changed the Bible. And nah, nah, nah. No, that's not what's being said here. Okay, so anyway. I guess that's about it. I'm 14 minutes into this. Uh, you can look for my next video where I'm going to be talking about something that I just noticed. And oh, my gosh. I looked on YouTube real quick. So many people are saying it the other way. And I'm not going to say what it is right now because my next video, that's what it's going to be. I'm certain. I was going to do something else. And I've been wanting to do this video. I'm sorry I didn't prepare this the way I wanted to. Whatever is happening is an incredible thing. There's something happening, okay? And here's the other part of the confusion that people have. Not everybody sees the changes. Only some people are seeing these changes. So, you might ask 10 people and maybe one will say, yeah, you know, I remember it like that and that and that. I remember that too. But you can't prove it because someone will say, well, look here, this is what, this is it. Look, here's the proof. Nothing changed. Here it is. Look what it is. Yeah, we understand that. We understand in this reality, that's what it is. But it seems like we came from somewhere else. Now, 
all that the Mandela effect really is doing is is reaffirming all the scientists and the quantum physicists that what's happening is there's multiple universes. There's an infinite amount of universes and we exist in all of them. And there's, you know, infinite amount of dimensions. Yeah, this is crazy. I mean, all this stuff is crazy. But did you ever really know what life was in the first place? I've been wanting to figure out what life was. You know, let's just take a little look here. This is 20 years ago, okay? 20 years ago. Let me see. What can I... Wrinkles in Time, the scientific discovery of the century, if not all time. Okay, this is the type of stuff, the mind of God, the scientific basis for a rational world. This is what I was reading in college. Okay, This is the type of stuff I was reading. Read a lot of this type of stuff. Ah, come on. I'm ah, screwing everything up. The Universe Story. Upside down. From the primordial flaring forth of the celebration of the unfolding of the cosmos. The genome. Is this, I, you know, these are books from my basement. Books from the basement. What I was going to show you was, you know, black holes, baby universes, Stephen Hawking. I've been trying to figure out what's going on. My point with this is I've been trying to figure out what's going on for a long time. Okay? That doesn't mean I have anything figured out. But that doesn't mean that I'm making shit up. You know, I'm, this is people aren't just making things up. They're just telling you what they remember. So, I guess that's about it. I'm just kind of rambling at this point, but... There's going to be more people coming out debunking it. I've seen a couple videos today, you know, Mandela Effect debunked. All lies. Just all lies. Made up. You know, people just have too much time on their hands. They're just making shit up trying to scare you. I'm not trying to scare anybody. This shit's blowing me away. I've been totally mind blown. And the fact that I can only speak to like two or three people about this, you know, it's, it's a difficult thing. This channel has 550 or so, 500 plus financial videos. I haven't cared to do, I did one financial video, got 15,000 views. I haven't even wanted to, to, to do that. I'm so tired of, of being a broken record for that, okay? The financial system's coming down, the dollar's going to collapse, you better have real money for thousands of years, gold and silver, okay? There it is. Said it over and over again. Don't need to keep saying it. This here has just totally taken me by storm. And I don't see, you know, I, I need to stay grounded. I've been working on it. Things are going pretty good, you know. This realization that we're creators in this universe and we can create any type of life we want as opposed to being, you know, slaves to the system. I mean, the system's coming down. People are waking up faster and faster. Even the sheep will have a chance with what's going on, Okay. So that's it for now. I'll talk to you all soon.